So I want to talk a little bit more about the volunteerism topic because I was really surprised at all of you and Christian actually tweeted in tonight and he said, uh, volunteerism is often harm masquerading as help. Far too many NGOs take away local jobs by having volunteers do them. Furthermore, furthermore I know nothing about carpentry. If I built a house, it would be unsafe. Charity work is honorable, but you need to make sure that it really is help. Why do you guys, why are you guys so for this? Because Gracie's the only one that agrees with Christian. Michael Here, or Leila? Uh, Michael, do you want to move go on? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, you know what, I, I'll just go. I'm not for <laughs> I am not for it. I was just trying to see the positive light that you can look in it because, but I think Gracie covered it the best. People are well-intentioned. It's just about trying to do things which do the best for these communities and maybe but i don't i think people are really uneducated about what this actually you know does what? i don't know i think like if we're talking about on the pure practicality of like building things and like are you like scheduled or like do you have enough skill to do that i think that the types of like construction that they're doing overseas is much different than the types of construction that they're doing in canada i guess canada gets cold you get permafrost the way our walls are shaped are differently a lot of the times over they're using like um concrete materials which are a little bit easier to work with so i think that with a little bit of education you can actually build a decent house it's not yes. that I'm okay. Wow. Interesting. Okay, that's a positive take on it. So let's talk about the parents and jobs. This one came in from Allie, and she said, "If uh, if a kid's parent comes home complaining about work, it's going to drive the kid away from working there because they'll think it's a bad place to be." Do you guys have a negative experience of seeing your parents like, "I hate my job," and what they said, Teddy? My father, he like he really wanted me to go into sciences, and I would have loved to too, but he complained about his master's degree so much. He complained just that about, it was hard. He just complained about graduate school like hell. And he, whenever I talked about like being worried about failing a test, he'd be like, "Oh, Teddy, back in my class, half of my friends didn't graduate and like didn't." So he just made it sound scary. You didn't want yeah, to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, interesting. Let's talk about the changing the last name. So this came in from Carrie. She said, "I've been married for almost 15 years, and I've never regretted keeping my name. I have two boys, and they've never." questioned it. So she thinks it's totally fine for her to keep her name. I, you guys are kind of mixed. I didn't keep my last name. I changed it, but I didn't have any attachment to my last name mm -hmm. because I didn't have any attachment to my father. Mm -hmm. what, do, what do you think about this? I just think people need to uh, do what works for them. Yeah. I, I really do believe that. I think do what works for you. And it's different for everyone? I do yeah. think it is, it is different for everyone. I would never like, yeah, do what works for you. I do think, I think it's really complicated with children. My immediate reaction is that children should maybe with, it, it's such a specific Maybe can dynamic. children choose? <coughs> Maybe. I don't know. It's complicated. My only thing is I think of like single moms a lot where their kids are stuck with some like random dude's last name that they met at like a nightclub or something. Mm -hmm. That I'm like, that's, cr and that that's what happened to me basically. Thanks guys. Yeah. Have awesome. a good one.